It's a political thriller that is based in 1990s of Bihar. It has real life politicians who have been depicted in real life characters. So it has the animal husbandry scam that unfolded in 1990s, also the caste violence. Characters in this Maharani web series have beautifully depicted all the caste, color, and complexities of Bihar politics. I am being joined by Rani Bharti, Huma Qureshi. Huma, thank you so much for joining us. Soam Shah, who plays the role of Bhima Bharti, who is uh, Rani Bharti's husband, and Amit, who is Naveen Babu, the present Chief Minister of Bihar in many ways, Nitish Kumar. I'm going to begin with you, Huma. Rani Bharti is a woman who is behind the scenes. She loves to do her household work. And at the same time, she is cattle rearing. But when we look at the transition that she makes, she comes into her own. And mm -hmm. it is not really any way close to the first woman chief minister and the only woman chief minister that Bihar has seen. In fact, uh, it's not at all like the only chief minister of Bihar or any other chief minister. It's a completely fictional tale. And in that sense, I think why a lot of people are connecting with Maharani and the whole story is we all have this idea. What if, you know, one of us were to become chief minister or prime minister for a day, how would we do things differently? So it sort of, you know, gives into that idea or that dream of a common man ki ek bar humko do, hum sab theek kar denge, you know, that, that kind of an idea. So I don't think it sort of alludes to anybody uh, from the past. Uh, it's a complete work of fiction and which is why it was so much fun for all of us to play because, you know, you could sort of draw from imagination and uh, make these very interesting, vibrant characters. Of course, a lot of it, you would feel, we've seen people like this around us, but mm -hmm. it's a complete work of uh, uh, fiction. But, you know, all because I come from the state of Bihar and in 1990s, we saw all this unfold before us. Mm -hmm. And I've tracked the politics of the state very, very closely at multiple levels as well. So when you say, and the promo says that Bihar is a state of mind rather than just a state of India, what was being communicated? What have the producers, directors, writers attempted to communicate? That's a question for Subhash Kapoor, I think. I think you've got the wrong people on the panel. <laughs> you know, whenever I get asked these kind of questions, I always say at best, you know, as actors, uh, we are given far too much credit for portraying these characters. I mean, uh, the, the only job we have at hand is to, I guess, internalize what we're saying and to try and say it with as much honesty and conviction as is possible. So what and really memorize our lines. <laughs> lines are lines. Actors are just walking, talking props. <laughs> so I think that's a question for Subhash Kapoor. Nay, Amit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think Amit, so. Amit, tell us. You know, Naveen Babu, who yeah. we you know, relate to as Nitish Kumar, he may have been chief minister in waiting during the 1990s, but he would soon become the longest serving chief minister of a Hindi belt state. 15 years mm. plus counting. How was mm. it depicting this character who comes across as very sabhya, uh, doesn't fit in that uh, tone and tonality of Bihar, is very careful about his image? Look, I'm a very sabhya. I'm a very sabhya person. So, I... <laughs> तो मुझे नीतीश कुमार को देखने की कोई जरूरत नहीं पड़ी थी और ना मैंने नीतीश कुमार की तरफ प्ले किया इसको आई थिंक जोक सुसाइड द स्क्रिप्ट इटसेल्फ वाज सो वेल रिटन एंड सो टाइट दैट आई हैड आई डिडंट हैव टू गो आउटसाइड द स्क्रिप्ट टू सीक हेल्प यू नो एंड 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 देन द राइटर्स वर देयर ऑन सेट सुभाष कपूर वाज देयर ऑन सेट and uh, i mean he's an ex journalist he's a political journalist so uh, i mean me me maine sara jitna bhi jitna bhi sab kuch uh, kiya hai jo aapne dekha hai wo i think sab kuch script based hai to because you know when once you get across a script which is so well written and written in depth then you don't have to go and look outside so that is exactly what i did and uh, this role you are Bhima's political rival. Once upon a time, you were friends during the student movement. Again, mm -hmm. it's history repeating itself on screen in the real world as far as Maharani is concerned. We have seen these characters as well. Uh, mm -hmm. 
you have also played a very important role in mirzapur we have seen you also in other yeah. web series how has this been how is this playing the role of a politician in a political thriller i think uh, in Tell recent times wardrobe. Tell, huh? Tell them about your wardrobe Tell them about your wardrobe my wardrobe <laughs> all your all your suits yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I think, <laughs> but but you know i think i think um, the other day one of my friends said ki i am so i'm so glad ki kisi ne tere ko ekdam saaf sutra dikhaya saaf sutre <laughs> saaf sutre kapde pehne hue dikhaya tu warna tu har ek kaam mein na kuch ganda hota hai ya tu daru pi raha hota hai ya tu ye kar raha tha to wo kar raha tha thank god tune ye sab kuch nahi kiya iske andar so jo society but uh, i think uh, navin uh, ye mere liye bahut hi zyada challenging role tha kyunki uh, i remember uh, पहला सीन था मेरा एंड आई वाज शूटिंग फॉर समथिंग एल्स साइमिलियसली आई जस्ट टर्न अप ऑन द सेट एंड 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 दे वर लाइक हंड्रेड हंड्रेड फिफ्टी पीपल भीमा बाबू वाज देयर ऑन द बेड एंड आई आई टू यू नो पोर्ट्रे माय डिसकंटेंट अबाउट व्हाट वाज ट्रांसपायरिंग विद द रिजल्ट्स एंड आई आई एंड आई जस्ट एंड आई जस्ट i just lost it i just couldn't get it you know and uh, that day was very very bad for me and but it it was supposed to be bad for me because i then i thought ki jo main karta aa raha hu wo ye kaam nahi hai because there is a certain certain uh, uh, political language to the script there's yeah. there's a very there's a very shakespearean uh, style to how things are written dialogues hain speeches hain so i think it it's been one of the most challenging roles that i've done so far very hmm. very very challenging okay so you know you come from rajasthan and this is set in bihar how was it to for you to pick up the language and perfect that art nahi yaar kai baar aisa hota hai ki language jo hai na ye bahut interesting question hai ki mujhe is baar kuch zyada mehnat nahi karni padi ki jaise main onward aaya uske 20 25 dino mein shoot shuru ho gaya और किस सर सेट पर सुभाष सर रहते थे और नंदन थे जो हमारे वो बिहारी हैं सुभाष सर बहुत अच्छी बिहारी बोल लेते हैं और नंदन तो हैं बिहार से तो ये लोग करेक्ट करते रहते थे और स्क्रिप्ट एक स्टाइल से लिखी होती थी और कहीं ना कहीं एक इंफ्यूशन होता है बिहारी के लिए ना आपने हल्का सा कहीं से सुना होता है क्लीशे नहीं बोल रहा हूँ मैं फिर भी कहीं ना कहीं सुना होता है बहुत सारे वीडियोज देखे वेरी केयरफुल मतलब मैं कह रहा हूँ वो आपने आपका जैसे मैं नॉर्थ से हूँ तो कहीं ना कहीं एक फ्लेवर पता होता है तो मुझे इतनी ज्यादा मुझे नहीं लगता कि वो मेहनत करनी पड़ी सुभाष रहते थे स्क्रिप्ट लिखी इस अंदाज से होती है कि आप पकड़ लेते हो कि आ, हम कह रहे थे हम हाँ। एक एक अंदाज होता है कि मैं कह रहा था नहीं हम कह रहे थे कि ये आ की मात्रा ई की मात्रा का हिंदी का जो फर्क होता है आ, हमारा पार्टी हमारा पार्टी हमारी पार्टी की जो हमारा पार्टी हुआ तो वो चेंज हो गया वो उतना ही चेंज होता है पर इसमें इंटरेस्टिंग बात यह कि मेरे लिए आज तक मेरी प्रोडक्शन लाइन मैंने प्रोड्यूस भी किए हैं चीजें एक्ट भी की हैं मेरे लिए सबसे ज्यादा मेहनत का काम रहा था तुम्बाड़ में वो एक्सेंट पकड़ना मराठी तो ये मराठी एकदम ऑपोजिट है आपसे आपने कभी मतलब राजस्थान से तो आपके लिए दूसरी जगह ही है और जब हमने शूट कर लिया मैंने बाकी सब मेहनत कर ली थी बल्ले बल्ले बना लिए थे बॉडी वॉडी बना लिए सब कुछ कर लिया और मैंने फर्स्ट कट देखा तो मुझे लग रहा था कि कोई हरियाणवी जाट बोल रहा है बाकी सब एक्टर्स जो मराठी थे तो वो उनकी बहुत ही फ्लुएंट थी वो लगते थे कि वो शव को शव बोलते कि चोरी नहीं चोरी चोरी का माल जांच के लेता हूँ तो मेरी जान निकल गई मैंने कहा भैया ये तो गई मतलब आपको लगता है कि ये सब हो जाए ये निकल जाएगा एक ना शुरू शुरू में आपको आता है आप थोड़े से कम मेहनती होता वो लगता निकल जाएगा मैं आपको सच बताता हूँ मेरे एक्टिंग करियर में मेरे प्रोड्यूस करने के करियर में मैंने तुम्बाड़ में सात साल लगा दी वो मेहनत मुझे कुछ नहीं लगती वो दो तीन महीने जो मैंने मराठी पर जान खपाई थी ना मतलब मैं ऐसे वो था ना बच्चे जो छोटी बुक लेके बैठते हैं ए फॉर एप्पल कि इसको कैसे प्रोनाउंस करते हैं मैंने वहां से शुरू किया फिर मुझे एक ट्यूटर मिले उन्होंने कहा भैया ऐसे नहीं होगा ऐसे तुम्हारी पूरी जिंदगी चली जाएगी मराठी सीखने में इसका थोड़ा सा एसेंस समझो और कर दो तो वो मेरे लिए सबसे डिफिकल्ट रहा था ये तो फिर भी प्रेम प्यार से निकल गया था कुछ ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम नहीं चलिए आप मुझे बताइए रानी भारती यू गॉट द साड़ी राइट यू गॉट द पल्लू राइट इवन that act oh. of sitting with your one leg up that that's what <laughs> i do is even today <laughs> you know you got that right the way you communicate the the fact that you 
have that interest in cows and other household chores you're interested in your children there is everything about that character that you got right so huma what went into it uh everything sabse pehle to i think the writing has to be on the page you know i mean i say you can i mean all of us are actors with our limited talents and we can only do whatever is on the page first so i think full credit goes to subhash sir to nandan to uma our writing team you know is subhash sir is a show runner who sort of put together this whole project karan uh, who is our director so i feel it's the entire creative team that gave all of yeah. us the, the right tools to really you know do something with the lines and create those characters of course matlab uh, people were very very skeptical i must admit uh, you know because you know they were like oh my god will she go so de glam as they say you know people have all these ideas about women and makeup and fashion and all of that and whether they would sort of commit to playing a character like this uh so i remember we were doing a two week workshop where every day we would sit and read the script and the entire cast and everything so there was a bit of apprehension they were like at some point you like nahi ab tumne accent pakad liya hai but will you be able to look like this character that was a question and i remember calling up veera veera's uh, uh costume hod so i called her saying veera uh, mera costume ban gaya kya she said ha to maine kaha suno do saariyan ghar pe bhijwa do kisi ko batana nahi and the next day i actually wore the saree and i went uh, for the reading so everybody was a bit like taken aback but i think after that day that whole thing about will i be able to walk in the saree and all that sort of went away so it i think it just happens right it's it's a bit by bit process sometimes you go on set and you like you know you absorb a lot of things or the way my co-actors are throwing lines at me you know i get a lot from that the way you know soham has played bhima or how you know amit has sort of you know the uh, Take in his lines or whatever. Sometimes you know you come with a certain imagination how you would perform a scene, but then that energy um, helps you. I don't know, explore another facet to your character. So I am, I sort of prepare a lot, but I think when I go on set, I'm a more spontaneous actor, so I absorb uh, what other people are also doing around me. So I would say that. Would you all have wanted to perhaps shoot in Bihar? I would love to. I mean, मेरा तो बिहार से कुछ पुराने जन्म का कनेक्शन है. मेरी पहली फिल्म जिंदगी की मतलब आई वाज प्लेइंग अ बिहारी गर्ल एंड आई हैव नेवर रियली बीन टू बिहार एज सच यू नो आई हैव बीन देयर प्रोबब्ली ट्वाइस टू पटना फॉर एन इवेंट और समथिंग आई वुड लव टू गो एंड स्टे देयर एंड शूट सो व्हाई नॉट व्हाई नॉट एंड ब्रिंगिंग आउट सो एम दैट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कास्ट वायलेंस एंड ब्रिंगिंग इट आउट सो सो इंट्रिकेटली एंड एट द सेम टाइम सेंसिटिवली आई थिंक इट वाज इंपॉर्टेंट टू हाईलाइट दैट पार्ट व्हाइल यू टॉक अबाउट द एंटायर ट्रांजिशन ऑन वन हैंड यू a woman chief minister unheard of in a very very patriarchal deeply rooted that kind of a society and then there is this regressive idea which is continuing simultaneously so first of all to jaise huma ne aapne pucha tha wo state of mind wali baat to writing bahut kadak thi ki ek writers ne hi kuch likha hua hai aur matlab hum log politics ke bare mein thode se aware hote main small town se aata hu to matlab wo casteism humne aas paas dekha hota hai कि ऐसा नहीं कि आपने नहीं देखा होता आप मतलब मैं बॉम्बे में बैंड्रा में पला बढ़ा नहीं हूँ कि मुझे कुछ अवेयरनेस नहीं तो आपको एक हल्की सी अवेयरनेस होती है आपने सोसाइटी में वो चीज़ देखी होती है तो आपको एक समझ होती है तो जेन्यनली बस मैं ऑनेस्टी से बोलूँ तो बस इतना ही काम करना होता है हमें कि वो लाइने पकड़ उसका थोड़ा सा जैसे हमने कहा था एसेंस पकड़ अपनी ऑनेस्टी के साथ अपनी कन्विक्शन के साथ वो कह देना आप उस मुद्दे को समझते हो ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने उसमें बहुत डीप स्टडी की कि आप ऊपर ऊपर से समझते हो और कई बार ऐसा नहीं होता कि एज एन एक्टर आपको बहुत कई बार होता है आपको बहुत डीप जाना पड़ता है कई बार ऐसा नहीं होता कि आपको बहुत डीप जाना पड़े कि आप लाइनों को थोड़ी सी ऑनेस्टी और कन्विक्शन के साथ बोल दो इतनी ही बात है क्योंकि समझ तो आपको आ ही रही है आई गेस हम्म हम्म एंड व्हाट अबाउट यू नवीन बाबू हाउ डू यू लुक एट दैट डायनामिक व्हिच डायनामिक सॉरी द कास्ट वायलेंस द कास्ट वायलेंस हाउ डू आई लुक एट इट matlab it's it's there i mean what is there to look at and uh, and you know i mean i am i am very i'm i'm very uh, always very concerned about uh, why do we why are we divided as people in a in the same country you know between caste creed uh, religion this and that to so, mera take ye hai ki yaar matlab uh, we we need need to to get get over over it, it. you know. We need to get over it. But the thing is that uh, we're still very feudal, you know. And 
and and it's going to be a slow process so or and it, it's it's got its own complexities and so it's not it's not easy to get rid of it i mean people who are, who who actually you know believe in it also i don't think they know what they're doing you know and and it's not just one caste against the other you know like a, a upper caste against a lower caste now it has come to the point where all of them are against each other so you know you know it, now now you don't know when the circle will end so uh, complicated mamla hai yaar mujhe yahi lagta hai ki bahut complicated hai hum log yes and on that you know huma we saw certain section of people protest as well because of caste violence and the depiction of caste in particular in the web series yes we have seen less censorship vis-a-vis uh, the ott platform but the censorship debate is certainly continuing um, are you of the opinion that no matter what may be the artistic freedom even this platform remains vulnerable to this kind of attack and questioning uh my personal opinion is that there should be absolute creative freedom i think as artists you know especially the last couple of years what the pandemic has taught us is that when the entire world stop we all turn to artists and art and music and series and all of that to sort of help us tide this time over and i personally believe that there should be uh, artistic freedom and there should not be any kind of draconian way to kind of try and control it uh, at, at the same time i would also say the onus and responsibilities on the creators themselves also for example you can talk about a lot of issues but you don't have to necessarily uh, try and offend people or just to do something with shock value you know sometimes you can talk about issues and they really have a very deep and a long lasting impact on the conversation that people uh, end up having in their homes for me what's important uh, you know and and just because i mean i say this i am sure on behalf of everybody just because we are actors and we've been part of a show like maharani does not make us experts on the politics of bihar you know anything we, yeah yeah claim to do that and no i think it would be very naive of us to even try and represent anything that we have very limited understanding of i to have barely un- any understanding having said that what we all understand is human beings is basic human rights is hmm. basic right to you know express yourself and uh, i think that is something that should be protective irrespective of where you come from you know so i think that's that's a pretty standard uh, basic thing for everybody and what is also intriguing is the title of the show or the name of the show it's maharani when it is uh, to- talking about the democratic processes and electoral manipulations as well so when it is deeply rooted in politics why should it have a very uh, a name such as this i think it's a very uh, actually never asked them that question it's because because a- because huma because heroine hai bhai hero hai hamare show ki huma jo upar bana hai show तो ये मारा नहीं है ओह दैट वेस आंसर है नहीं हाँ नहीं but I think uh, I mean it's it's a fun title you know it's a, it's a spin on I think her name Rani Bharti so I think it was just a good fun spin on it you know I think मेरा uh, personally life में बहुत लोग मेरा भाई especially बहुत चढ़ाने लगे मुझे कुछ मैं नहीं करती हूँ घर पे तो बोलती है तो Maharani बन चुकी है नाम ले guys this is never leaving me मेरे भी दोस्त चढ़ाने लग गए आओ Maharani आओ मुझे ही बोलने लग गए Maharani मैं Maharani नहीं हूँ यार how is it uh, Amit and so on both of you uh, to play roles in uh, you know web series or otherwise which is largely female dominated this is a script of huma on huma yes yaar wo both have i want to say something but after they have answered yes ye mujhe lagta hai yaar wo criteria bhi khatam ho gaya hai ki kaun डोमिनेट कर रहा है कि लड़की डोमिनेट कर रही है या ये हीरो है या मैं सपोर्टिंग है चलो सीरीज में देखो कंटेंट इतना हो गया कि आप एक छोटा सा कैरेक्टर को भी बहुत प्यार मिल सकता है आप अपना काम प्यार से करो इज्जत से तो वो स्पेस मतलब जो बहुत नई इकोसिस्टम मुझे लगता है कि बन गई है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ओटी प्लेटफॉर्म तो मैंने जब साइन किया था तो मैंने बिल्कुल ये नहीं सोचा था कि इसमें हुमा का मेन रोल है मेरा मेन रोल नहीं मुझे तो मजे आए थे कि यार में एक ऐसा मतलब एज एन एक्टर मेरे हिसाब से दो चीजें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होती है स्क्रिप्ट डायरेक्टर और आपका कैरेक्टर मतलब पहली बात तो स्क्रिप्ट जगह पर हो तो आपकी आप इतनी मेहनत करते हो लोगों तक तो वो बात पहुंचनी चाहिए आपको लगना चाहिए आपको कॉन्फिडेंस होना चाहिए डायरेक्टर आपका अच्छा होना चाहिए तीसरा आपका कैरेक्टर मस्त तो मैं तो सोचा ही नहीं मैंने कहा यार आप इतना बढ़िया मस्त कैरेक्टर कर रहे हो लार्जर देन लाइफ है ऐसी डायलॉग बाजी है जो सेवेंटीज एटीज में हुआ करती थी और एट द सेम टाइम बहुत ही कंटेम्प्रेरी तरीके से बना रहे हो 
मुझे लगता है कि वो सब चीजें अभी जो नए एक्टर हैं उनके लिए मायने नहीं रखते उनके लिए अपना रोल मायने रखता है अमित I think uh, I agree with uh, a lot of stuff that uh, Soham has said, uh, and and I think uh, you know as actors, actors, if I can talk about just myself right now, I mean I have never chosen stuff uh, where you know I've I've worried about more worried more about the other casting rather than mine, you know. So as long as as long as my part is good enough and I want to do it. Then I'll do it. मतलब ये मेरे मतलब मेरे लिए criteria भी नहीं है कि अरे हुमा lead कर रही है तो मतलब ये तो female centric चीज है मेरे दिमाग में भी नहीं आता ये सब मेरे interest ही नहीं है तो चीजों में चलिए वो तो बहुत अच्छा रहा फिर हुमा say something to this Maria I as Maria I really love you and I love the love that you have shown to Maharani but I have a problem with this question why should we even pose this question do we ever ask you know no. Actor, why are you part in a in a male hero? Yes. Whatever. So, and I feel that's a and we must applaud you know actors who are because all of us went in not thinking this is any one person's story. It's all of our story. Correct. Correct. You can call it, I mean, like anything. But and the idea is that the more we kind of encourage these kind of conversations or pose these questions, it will keep sort of having a certain idea and a certain gender stereotype that will keep. Yes, I agree with you. That was a very gender gender stereotype thought. Uh, let me ask you something. What the critics have been saying? One of the critics wrote that the series is over plotted and underwritten. He says that Maharani is too preoccupied with inserting random obstacles in Rani Bharti's life to actually develop her as a person. Thuma, you want me to say what? What are your thoughts to critics? I would like to say thank you for your critique, critique, and uh, we'll try and do better next time, and hopefully you'll enjoy it more. But thank you for watching it. Okay, let me ask all of you about the rise of OTT. What has it done to actors like you? It's given us work. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's given me work for sure, and uh, you and uh, you know I was I was. For a, for a, for the longest time, I was disillusioned with the the kind of work that was uh, on the offer, and uh, and you know, and I I just didn't know what to do with myself because I I tried many occupations and professions, and I quit it and decided to become an actor, and it, I could see it all falling apart, and uh, and and suddenly OTT sprang up, and uh, and then. i'm here you know i'm get i'm working i'm uh, com- comfortable in life after 15 years of struggling and uh, and uh, i'm in a happy space you know that's what ott has done you know and for a lot of people not just actors i think all departments of okay. film making so on your quick thought on that well i agree with uh, with for sure ki bahut sare logo ko kaam mila hai technicians writers matlab writers ko 4 5 saal pehle log kitna पूछते भी नहीं थे तो राइटर स्टॉप पे एक्टर्स से आगे राइटर्स से सिनेमाटोग्राफर बहुत सारे लोगों को काम मिला है ये तो डेफिनेटली है पर मुझे लगता है कि ओटीटी से ना एक चेंज आया जो मैंने बहुत ही पर्सनली पर्सनली फील किया है कि एक नई ऑडियंस पैदा हो गई है जैसे यहाँ छह सिनेमा होते थे पंद्रह सौ पंद्रह सौ कैपेसिटी वाले दस साल में उन लोगों का नाता टूट गया था सिनेमा से क्योंकि यहाँ तो मल्टीप्लेक्सिस स्मॉल टाउन में आए नहीं आए तो उनकी प्राइसिस बहुत ज्यादा थे उस और वो ऑडियंस फोर्टीज में फिफ्टीज में जा रही थी तो वो कट गए थे बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म ना अपने फोन पर वो देख सकते हैं तो उनको आजादी है कब चाहे रोगी बहुत ही ईजी है बहुत कम पैसे लगते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि ओ टी टी जो शुरू हुआ था एक आइडिया से कि लिमिटेड ऑडियंस के लिए बहुत ही एजिस्ट अप बनना चाहिए अभी सडनली ओ टी टी बहुत ही कमर्शियल बहुत ही मेन स्ट्रीम होता जा रहा है तो मुझे लगता है कि टूडे शो की उतनी ही बड़ी ऑडियंस है जितनी एक ब्लॉक बस्टर की तो एक्टर्स के लिए जो फिल्म में नहीं कर सकते या फिल्म की फिल्म मैं प्रोड्यूसर भी हूँ फिल्म की पूरी सिस्टम uh, समझते हो कि फिल्म को बनाना स्टूडियो के पास जाना बहुत ही मुश्किल होता है कि आपकी स्टेब्लिशमेंट होनी चाहिए उसमें मतलब सौ तरह की चीजें चाहिए आपको कामयाब होने के लिए पर ओ पर अगर आप में टैलेंट है और आप अपना काम मेहनत से करते हो तो आप उतने ही ब्लॉकबस्टर फिल्मों जितने लोगों तक ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म से पहुंच सकते हो ये एक्टर्स के लिए बहुत बड़ी बात है एंड हुमा आफ्टर लैला दिस इज योर सेकेंड वेब सीरीज यूर वर्क अक्रॉस फॉर्मैट वॉट डज ओ टी टी मीन फॉर यू 
think it's brilliant. Uh, I mean, of course, I can't deny I became an actor because of the magic of films and going to like a single screen theater and watching, uh, you know. And uh, uh, but I feel like there's a very interesting space right now that OTT has created globally. Uh, like like both of them said, you know, great content. Also, this long form content allows for a different and new kind of membership. And at the same time, like I've also done Leila, I've also done like a Netflix film. Uh, which is like a Hollywood release or whatever. So I feel what it does is that it's pushing boundaries and we all are being pushed to make territory agnostic content. You know, so mm-hmm. today we can, uh, we can, you know, do films in which we have like actors coming here or directors working across. And I feel what will really happen is that uh, just the viewership will increase, but also the kind of stories we're telling. It's definitely making the whole storytelling process far more democratic. Today, a kid from, you know, Bihar could just get up and, you know, make a series and people across the world could be watching it, you know. Like we watch, yeah. you know, uh, Money Heist and all these shows and they were never yeah. intended for our consumption. And I think that for me is is so exciting as an actor and as a viewer. I must tell all of you that this web series is being discussed a lot in Bihar. Before I wrap this discussion, a quick word from all of you about the most challenging scene that you found. So I'm going to begin with you. Which was the most challenging one for you? psychology <laughs> 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 I had a ball doing this character because, you know, I, I, in Jamtara, I touched upon, you know, a, a political environment and all that. But Gunda Zada tha or political figure kam tha. But this was like a proper dedicated politician, you know. And uh, I, I had to work really hard. I lo not pata nahi chal raha hoga ki main kya kar raha hoon kamre mein hotel ke. But I was sara time script ke saath kar raha tha main. Or fir, and I was amazed at Huma, you know. I mean, so much she had to memorize. Actually, you know, I can, I can, I can say Huma that. One of the most difficult, challenging scenes was, remember, the one between us. Yes. You know, yes. when you come to meet me. Challenging for you. I was just saying, hmm, achha, phir. And, and, aur, aur, mujhe laga, mujhe laga ki, yaar, ye itna lamba, kaise, kya bol raha, kya nahi bol raha, aur, mene, uh, hum log ne start kiya, Uma, aai, baiti, aur, wo, ek take mein ho gaya, mene, kya, mene, apne aap si bol raha, mene, kya kar raha ho, yaar, tum, ye kya ho raha, ye, <laughs> बिहार टू सी ये राजभवन ऐसे ही है जैसे वहां पर गवर्नर साहब बैठे चैलेंजिंग तो मैं तुझे मान जाऊंगा उमा के लिए सब चैलेंजिंग था उमा के उमा ये द मोस्ट हार्ड वर्किंग एक्टर नो 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 आई हेट कॉम्प्लीमेंट जस्ट 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 से थैंक यू जस्ट से थैंक यू थैंक यू सो उमा 
um, you heard all the compliments. Tell us which was the most challenging scene for you. Uh, they were all challenging, and these guys are very <laughs> sweet, and they're the best co-stars ever. I have to tell you that. But एक बड़ा funny हुआ था जिस दिन सोहम को गोली लगी ना तो अब वहां पे full मतलब stress चल रहा है मतलब stress अलग level का sun has gone down it's getting dark there's so many people and this whole भागा दौड़ी is happening and I'm supposed to be really upset and like emotional because you know my husband has been shot and uh, उस time पे ना अच्छी गलती कुछ किसी की नहीं इतनी भसड़ थी कि किसी ने juniors को ठीक से uh, बताया नहीं कि आपको करना क्या है so there was one guy who basically would would come and the shot and he was supposed to be like one of the cops and uh, i'm crying bhima bhima aur wo pata nahi kyun bhima ko utha ke bahar le jate the shot se so main bolti thi are bhima ai ek bar hi hua do bar hi hua next time he comes stood between me and the camera so i'm crying and i'm trying to move him so that his his body moves away from the camera and i'm uh, crying in the camera it was so funny and so um is only laughing cuz he <laughs> So I, I'm holding it. I'm like uh, crying, and he's laughing. So I'm like, how can you laugh? It's such an emotional scene for me. <laughs> he kept laughing. I mean, he was so. I was like, it's so mean. Okay, now uh, the final words. Something <laughs> in Bihari. So I'm Bihari ka ek shab. Bolo so. Bolna padega Bihari me tabhi ye show ab hai. मैं तो मतलब बिहारी नहीं मैं डायलॉग बोलूंगा कि जेल के ताले टूटेंगे भीमा बाबू छूटे चलिए अमित बब्बन अमृत समरौदा वाला जूता हम तो बस इतना कहेंगे कि हाथी चले बजा <laughs> बाकी आप समझ जाइए हम क्या बोलना चाहते हैं ये बहुत बढ़िया रहा थैंक यू सो मच एंड कंग्रेचुलेश थ्री ऑफ यू फॉर वॉट क्लियरली इज अ ब्यूटिफुल एंड अ फैंटेस्टिक परफॉर्मेंस रानी भारती भीमा एंड नवीन बाबू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस दैट्स ऑल फॉर थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग सर्टनली इज अ मस्ट वॉच फॉर ऑल द व्यूअर्स गो वॉच महारानी Thanks so much for watching.